We are sitting in the parking lot of Saratoga Springs and we are about to go check out Victoria and Albert. This is a 10 course meal, which I don't think I've ever had a 10 course meal before, have you? So we don't exactly know what we're doing. We're going to play fancy and um, see if they don't find us out. So uh, come along, let's we'll see what happens. At the Grand Floridian for our dinner at Victoria and Albert. We're just going to have someone else on that way in just a minute. Here's our favorite lobby again. We've got the live music playing. Rob said it's like we never left. When you're not staying here? Yeah. I think it feels different when you have stayed here though. It's like... I was gonna say, it's like you belong. Okay, here is the top of the elevator. Very pretty. Topiaries. There is Ivy Trellis way over there. Yeah. Here's the Commander's Port. Quarters. We started out with our cocktails. There's a bitter and there's a sweet. You can see my sweet's almost gone. And the sweet is non alcoholic, but you can add alcohol to it. Rob's up here picking out wines now. Great. We're to get the Casey Jones steam liner. So we've got a specialist menu that has our names on it. Here's what we have to choose from. Alright, so this is the amuse bouche, um, asparagus, egg yolk, caviar.
butter is unsalted and they also provide a moldong sea salt to go with it. That's crazy. Come on, it doesn't always work. <gasps> That's awesome. We haven't gotten there yet, but, <laughs> but we're working awesome. towards it. We're still yeah, I was just saying, yes, we have built in babies. All right, I've taken two bites of this salad and it is so good. I want to eat it every day. I want to see if I can get it to take it home. It's amazing. What do you think of the salad? It's very refreshing. It has a really nice, nice flavor. This is our um, halibut lemon fennel dish. This bonus dish was one of the best dishes we had. I'm so glad they added it in. It was very tender and the flavor was amazing and the presentation with the potato glass and the onion flowers was also um, very pleasing. Next bread that was served was very light and fluffy. The waiter told us it was due to large amounts of flour and eggs being used in the recipe. The waiter told us that the idea behind the lamb and Kalamata olives was that you usually um, taste your food with your visual senses first, and this one is blacked out so that you cannot see it. So you have, you're forced to taste with your actual taste buds. I have salt in the uh, bread itself. It's a very rich, very hearty, whole grain style. Most yep. of the ingredients actually are in. Now the Australian Kobe style beef was amazing. It was very tender and the potato pinwheel, the server told us was, um, they take fat and um, render the fat and put the potato pinwheel together over 24 hours and it was absolutely amazing. It creates pressure forcing the water up this tube. The rubber seal helps us create a vacuum. And uh, what happens is the water will rise percolating the grounds on top. Inside of the uh, top chamber is a crystal rod that allows the grounds to always remain on top. It's sort of your filter. As the water rises and percolates long enough, we'll extinguish.
is on a praline uh, crunch underneath. A little bit of bitter chocolate brownie disc you know, sandwiched in between. Edible gold leaf is resting on top with the salted caramel down in the top of your plate. Chocolate ganache at the base with chocolate meringue and bitter chocolate disc down the center. A gift bag with bread and your personalized menu goes home with each couple. Alright, I just had a couple more things that I wanted to talk about. Um, the first was how we got our reservation. Most people say that you have to call 180 days in advance to get a reservation at Victoria and Albert's. And what Rob did was we were there in June, about a month and a half, two months before we ate at Victoria and Albert's, and he uh, called the number that the concierge gave him, and of course they were booked, and they put us on the waiting list, and about two days before we flew out, they called and told us, it might have been a week before, but um, a very short time, they called and told us they had an availability in the Queen Victoria room, and we took it. Uh, I also wanted to say that on the menu there are upgrades or enhancements that you can get. We didn't choose any of them because this was our first experience and um, we didn't we didn't know what anything was really and we thought everything that, that they could do was probably going to amaze us and it did. Um, what you can do is you can get caviar, you can add half an ounce for $110 or one ounce for $210. The amuse-bouche comes with a little bit of caviar in it so we didn't add that. Um, you can get a, with a roasted French quail, you can get a pasta with Australian black truffles, which sounds amazing. And we actually got a little taste of truffles uh, the next day at one of our other dinners. So um, we skipped that. And then the Australian Kobe style beef, you could upgrade that to a Miyazaki Japanese beef, which also sounds amazing, but the Kobe style beef was so good and um, I can't imagine how much better it would be if you got the upgrade. So we were happy with what we got. You could also do a wine pairing for $150 a person, and we did not do that. We selected a bottle of wine from their wine list, and um, <laughs> the funny thing is the bottle we selected, it was a twist off instead of a cork, <laughs> so <laughs> we felt really fancy with that bottle of wine. But um, we really enjoyed our waiters. We had Matt and Al, and they really set us at ease. They were very conversational. The way they described the food was almost... Um, artistic and theater like it made it such a great experience but they were light and um, we had a great time with them and then I think this Amy Rivera was also there there's another lady there that came to our table and she was just really nice and um, great to talk to but um, we would recommend this experience to anyone it's a special occasion type of thing and um, I mean we are already talking about whether we want to go back on our 20 year anniversary or 15 year anniversary or the joke that they made with us there was like every half year or you know the even years whatever so um, it's amazing it's um, you know you may have to save up for it you may have to decide to do you know something else like um, you know, we drive old cars so we can have fun experiences on vacations. So whatever you want to do to get yourself there, but it was an amazing experience. We would definitely recommend it. Um, so I'm also going to do a couple more videos about our experience attempting to ride all the rides in Disney World, the Parkology Challenge, and then um, our Morimoto Asia and our Flying Fish restaurant experiences, and then... Um, our Saratoga Springs Resort walkthrough and Toy Story Land. So um, look out for those. All right. Have a good day. Thanks for watching.